Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gives us many ways to customize our character, but did you know there's one piece of gear that is, well, a little more shiny than the others? How's it going, everyone? My name is Prestige. Welcome to episode number one of the Hero Gear Guide. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at Ruin and the Hero Gear that you're able to obtain. This is exactly what it looks like on your screen, and let me tell you, it is a definite grind to get to this point. Remember everybody, if this guide helps you out, make sure to click that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe for more guides in the near future. But let us get started. How do you unlock Hero Gear to begin with? How do you unlock the challenges for Hero Gear? As you guys know, you have an ability with each specialist character as well as a weapon with each specialist character. Each specialist character has a bunch of different ways that you need to complete challenges in order to get specific gear sets. Once you complete all of them in a given character, you'll notice a secret classified one unlocks. This can be done all the way to Firebreak, which is the final specialist character you'll unlock, and once you do every single challenge for every single weapon and every single ability for every single specialist character, these classified challenges will be declassified and they will become the Hero Gear Challenges. The hero challenges are pretty much the same across all different specialist characters, so just for example sake, we're covering Ruin today, and Ruin needs to get 6 gravity spike kills in one game 6 different times, as to where Outrider needs to get 6 sparrow kills in one game 6 different times. Now a lot of people might be thinking, well that doesn't sound too hard, I'll just go into a game of domination and let me stop you right there. Unfortunately, round based game modes like Safeguard, Demolition, Domination, it is very difficult to do these challenges because what happens is when the round switches it counts as a completely new game and this was actually said it's not a glitch by Treyarch themselves to make the challenges a little more difficult. Ruin is probably the most difficult out of all of them. It takes a total of five minutes to earn the gravity spikes. That's if you're not getting kills. That's if you're not capturing objectives, of course. And if you're playing objective-based modes, you're not going to be able to earn those really fast, meaning you're probably not going to earn them but maybe two times per five-minute round. Now, with that said, playing a game mode like Hardpoint is going to allow you to get a concise area where all of the enemies are going to be piling up on, which, of course, is the Hardpoint, and and you'll be able to get these six kills in no time now don't get me wrong it's still a little more difficult because you have to make sure you're at least getting a double kill every single time a triple kill a quad kill if you're getting one person you unfortunately might have to restart to get more time again because it takes just incredibly too long to charge the gravity spikes now with that said I'm gonna go ahead and put a class up on the screen so you can check it out this is my run and gun shotgun class I absolutely love the 205 B is such a great weapon overall. Putting on the rapid fire attachment, I like to use the extended magazine and the fast mag attachment. It helps me actually get up close and personal with the enemies, taking them out left and right, and just being able to approach to begin my gravity spikes. If I know that there are multiple enemies there, of course I'm going to hit them with the gravity spikes rather than the shotgun, but this is just a backup weapon to help you tear through enemies to get to your designated location. As for perks, honestly, this is completely up to you. I like to run Ghost, so I just stay off of the minimap just in case they call in a UAV. That way I'm able to pop up in there and hit him with the gravity spikes. But I also like to run Overclock, and I usually see this as a necessity. One, it's going to help you get your ability or weapon a little bit faster, and getting those gravity spikes a little bit faster is definitely going to help you earn it multiple times in a game. With the Overclock ability and with a long game of Hardpoint, you're able to earn it maybe three to four to five times in a single game and that will definitely ease it into getting your kills as long as you get a couple doubles as long as you get a triple here or there you're going to be able to get six kills in one game no problem gravity spikes are probably going to give you the biggest struggle when it comes to any of these specials characters you need to be up close and personal and it's more often than less you're going to get shot out of the air as you're coming down to hit the ground with your gravity spikes but don't let that get in your way to earning the sick sick hero 
special gear. Now in the end, you're also going to have to complete the specialist ability. And this works similar to what all other specialist ability hero gear challenges are as well. For example's sake, Ruin needs to get four kills with his overdrive ability four separate times in four different games. So you can get four kills with the overdrive ability. You don't have to do it in one use of the ability. You can use it in multiple uses. You can use it once, you could use it twice, you could use it three times. And with this ability, you're gonna earn it faster even with the overclock uh, perk that you have on in your class. And this is the same for all other specialist characters as well. So if you're using Outrider, once again, using her vision pulse, you'll need to kill four enemies that are tagged by your vision pulse. And you could do this multiple times in a game. So the abilities are a lot less stressful than the actual weapon challenges themselves. So honestly, with Ruins Overdrive, you're able to just go into a game of Team Deathmatch, you could probably go into a game of Domination, you could play Kill Confirmed. It really doesn't matter at this point because you're going to be earning it so fast that you'll be able to use it five, six, seven times a game as long as you're playing the objective and you'll definitely get four kills with it as long as you focus, maybe try to flank on enemies and get up behind them before activating the Overdrive ability to move with a little bit faster speed. Now you don't necessarily need to be moving when you get this, so if you are using a sniper rifle you're able to activate it then snipe your enemies without actually rushing in and getting them which is another way to do these challenges a little bit easier but anyway guys that was ruin he's a little bit more difficult than all of their specials characters because of those gravity spikes but i really do believe that if you guys play a game mode like hardpoint you'll be able to no problem get this thing done and i'll be honest with you guys sometimes you'll be able to do it in no problem sometimes it will take a few games and it just depends Depends on the team you're with if they hold the objective too long or if someone's playing the objective too hard you're gonna have to really take into account getting those kills and earning that gravity spike weapon a little bit faster so I thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed make sure to click that like button down below and do not forget to subscribe for more awesome videos each and every day until next time everybody I am out peace